Hello YouTube, who's your archer here? And it's Thirsty Thursday yet again. And uh, I will say that uh, I am a little bit leery of trying this, but we shall see. Um, but it's not because of what you think. Uh, it's another IPA. But this one says, side car, this is Sierra Nevada Sidecar Orange IPA. Air, um, ale brewed with orange peel. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Um, Chico, California. So, uh, having uh, been to Chico, California, and having lived very close to there, I can, but I have never had a Sierra Nevada, and I thought, why the heck not? So, when I saw this on the one-off shelf, I said, well, in my endeavors to find an IPA worth drinking, so, because I haven't yet, they're, they're all just okay. Nothing that's like, oh boy, let me have another one of those. So, maybe this will do it. Let's find out. Ah. And it wasn't a wolf in sheep's clothing. It really was uh, one that required a cap lifter. Uh, attractive color, attractive color of cap, but then again, orange is my favorite color, so I'd have to call that attractive. Let's see if we can get a whiff of orange here. You know what? Very, 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 very light hint of orange and then it smells like an IPA so let's give it a try here I'm gonna say something you're not gonna believe it but this might be the best IPA I've ever had now, that's not necessarily saying anything that's just saying it might be the best IPA I've IPA I've ever had, but yes, you can definitely tell it was made with orange peel. Um, orange peel has the bitter notes of orange, okay, and the and it does have bitter orange essence in it. It's not overwhelming. It's a it's a back note. Um, there's a little bit of there's a very 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 quick uh, first impression of sweetness when it goes in the mouth. And then the hops and the orange peel kick in for the the bitter back end, but it's a it's definitely a good type of bitter. Uh, that that is drinkable. It's not fantastic, but it's not off-putting in any way at all either. It just tastes like a decent beer. Not a fantabulous wow, but a, that's an IPA? Yeah, it's definitely one of those. I think I got you, Fred Silverman. Sorry, there was one of these little incessant little flies on the camera, and I tried to snuff out its life. Um, I don't think I succeeded, by the way, so... Yeah. Now, over somebody's house playing cards, and they got a couple of these out of the refrigerator and asked you if you wanted one, I would definitely say yes.
trying to There we go. I, I'm going to need more, uh, more light and some magnification here to see what the alcohol by volume is on this. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. Dun, 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 dun. Focus, 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 focus. Wow, I think, if I read this correctly just now, six point eight percent by volume. That's a fairly potent beer, right there, boys and girls and children of all ages. Um, it says we pushed the complex and citrus heavy flavor of hops to a new level with this orange infused IPA combining bright and bold hops with real orange creates layers of citrus crazy flavors yet it maintains a balance and a crisp hop bite that make it perfect aromatic IPA well I don't know about perfect but I'll tell you something. I'm leaning toward believing this is the best IPA I've ever had. Yeah, the front end is that is a clean, crisp, citrusy, but with a hint of sweetness, and then there's a, a the the bitter follow the 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 back end of it, but it's not severely bitter and it's not off-puttingly bitter it's it's a what I call a comforting bitter uh, you might come up to my campsite one day and actually find this in my cooler this I, I'm pleasantly surprised uh, I've never had a single variety of Sierra Nevada before that I can remember uh, and this is memorable. If I'd have had this before, I'd have remembered, especially with that name. Um, there's a uh, an old-fashioned, uh, well, uh, a classic cocktail called a sidecar. And I'm not exactly sure what's in it. But it was featured a lot in some of the old 40s, 30s, 40s, um, uh, detective stories where a person would ask for a sidecar in a bar or if you uh, the one that I remember it in was in a Nero Wolf uh, uh, a, the, a woman who killed somebody asked for a sidecar I'd kill for a sidecar or I'd something like that she said that's positively pleasant to drink that's not always the case with an IPA I hope you know that Then again, this could have just been one of those days when I was in the mood for something like this. My taste buds were all in alignment for this. And another day I could dislike this. That's the one, the funny thing about your sense of taste and smell. They are the most subjective of your senses. And no two people actually taste the same thing the same way. Ask, give somebody exactly the same piece of, you know, from, from the same batch of chocolate where there's no chemical difference between one piece to another and have them have everybody describe the flavor and you won't get there might be a few notes that they that are common but the overall picture will be completely different it's but uh, on the basis of what I'm experiencing here, this is going to get the highest score of any IPA so far. 4.5 out of 5. Uh, and that's the IP against all other beers, straight 4. Against IPAs, 
4.5. You know, when, when I give IPAs just a little bit over 3, because they are, if you like IPAs, you'll probably like them. But I'd be willing to bet if you don't like IPAs, you'd like this one. It has some of the notes of an IPA. But it has more of the positive notes of IPAs I've had in the past. The, the thing about IPAs is they have they have uh, positive notes and negative notes in their flavor profile. And the vast majority that I've tried have more negative than positive, which makes them things that I don't want to drink. And I haven't even tasted much in the way of negative in this at all. This is uh, uh, this is actually the most pleasurable IPA I've ever drank. I think I'm going to have to email Sierra Nevada. I don't get an overwhelming flavor of orange. I want to make that perfectly clear. Uh, it, it's an undercurrent, if anything. Uh, but I do think it does the orange peel and the type of hop they use do complement each other. There isn't any, there's not a clash going on. Sometimes they put things in, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I bought something the day I bought this because it's October and I'm a little bit afraid to try it. Um... It's got pumpkin in it, and I love pumpkin. Don't get me wrong. I love pumpkin. Um, I love pumpkin pie. I love... I I make a, something... Uh, uh, it's a French soup, but it's made with pumpkin. And uh, chunks of pumpkin uh, cooked in chicken broth. And you... Uh, pretty much all there is to it is a good chicken broth and cubed pumpkin. And you... Simmer the soup until the pumpkin is tender, and it's done. Uh, and it's delightful. And, and a, it might be a little bit too simple for a lot of people, but you know, it's a recipe that's come down from, from my ancestry on my uh, father's side. So, you know, uh, uh, they the next uh, even in France. If I remember what my grandmother said, um, she said in France the next day, if all the pumpkin is gone, they reheat it with a cup of white wine poured into it, good white wine, and they reheat it, and then they serve it over crouton, croutons, toasted bread squares. And then they uh, drink it out. They basically drink it out of mugs and then catch a crouton and chew it. But what I was going to say about the this pumpkin ale that I'm going to be doing in my next Thursday Thursday. I've had some pumpkin ales in the past, and they've been positively horrific. But horrific things are appropriate for Halloween, n'est-ce pas? Since we're talking about France and that, you know. Yep, 4.5 as an IPA, and a solid 4 as just a beer or ale. So to have a good score against all other beers and ales, this is good stuff. And to have it's got the highest score of any IPA I've ever rated. This is uh, delightful. I go, there I said it. You could do a lot worse. Yep. I think you could very well find this in my fridge in the future. I can't think of a higher praising thing to say about a beer. God bless. Happy trails. And watch your top knot.